So we're going to show you how to make our beautiful handmade roses like this pink one here. We make them using a variety of polymer clays, either Sculpey or Fimo. We tend to use the soft, which come in all these beautiful colours, but the most popular we've made have always been ivories and whites. To add the lustre to the roses, we use a pigment powder. This one here is by Ranger Inks, um, and they all come in different colours. So to start with you need to roll out your clay and you can use a rolling pin like this or a pasta machine and if you've got lots of roses to make a pasta machine is really good. Take your five petal cutter and press it firmly into the clay so that you press all the points out and you can see the shape here. You also need to cut yourself a rectangle and you can use a rectangular cutter like this one or if you prefer and, and haven't got a, a cutter, you can use a scalpel. Just cut yourself a rectangular shape. Peel away the excess clay and put that to one side. And then to make your rose, you're going to need two sets of the petals and one rectangle. So taking your pearlescent powder and your brush, just take the powder and brush gently around the tips of the petals, just on the very edges, and also uh, down one side of the rectangle. So just make sure that they're covered on both sets of the petals and just on that one long edge of the rectangle. Gently brush all the way around, not in the centre, just on the edges. We're now going to press the tips of the petals down. Using your finger, just gently go around the edge of each petal. You'll feel it sort of pressing into the surface, but this is what gives the rose its really natural effect. You need to do this on the rectangle as well, where you put the pearlescent powder. Do all the petals and just that one side of the rectangle. The clay that we've used here is, is a white, soft Fimo clay and it's quite sticky, but using the pearl powder on the top makes a beautiful ivory rose. So taking the rectangle, just take one short edge and roll it. I'm rolling it towards myself here um, until you make a, a kind of curl and this is going to be the centre of your rose. And the edge that has the powder on, just press down very gently to give a natural effect to the centre of the rose. This one's a little bit long, so I'm going to cut it a bit shorter and put the excess clay on one side. So there we have the centre of the rose. So if you're wanting to make lots of handmade roses, say for a table plan, then it's a good idea to have lots of the elements ready, all stacked up on one side, lots of the petals, lots of the centres of the roses, and then you can assemble them all at once. So taking a centre, place it in the middle of your petals and just choose one of the petals and just curl it up underneath and attach it at the bottom. Missing a petal out and working anti-clockwise, just take the next petal, squeeze it just a little bit at the bottom so that it sticks to itself. Then you're going to miss out another petal and do exactly the same and follow around with the final two petals. So you can just about see how things are coming together, the, 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 the rose is forming. So just gently taking the petals, press them down at the bottom, just squeeze them together and using your fingers just curl the, the petals on the top. Then you'll need your second layer and we're going to repeat the process. So taking the first section, place it in the middle, trying to make sure that uh, there's an overlap, that the next petal is going to overlap a join. Starting with the first one, Press it at the bottom again, missing one out. Take the next petal and repeat the process, just pressing gently at the bottom, missing one out, taking the next one, squeezing at the bottom again and finishing with the final two petals, just securing them at the bottom. So the rose is almost there now. Just lift it up gently and squeeze the stem that you're holding at the bottom to secure all the edges together and tweak the petals, curling them over with your fingers. You can also add a little bit of extra powder here if you wanted to. 
you'll find that the stem of the rose has actually grown quite a lot while you've been pressing. So just trim it down to a, a level that you're happy with. Um, you'll find that you need to cut off quite a lot actually. And once you've done that, you can do your final tweaks and then your rose is ready for baking. We found that for our oven, the best temperature is around 130 degrees for about 15 minutes. And here's one of our beautiful finished baked handmade roses. We hope you like them.